Yo guys, what is up? It is Teachers Game 2 coming at you with another video here, and we are starting up our series on a dino a day to kind of give you guys some information on the individual dinos, because a lot of people don't know what is really useful about a lot of these dinos. There's a lot of things, like little nuances that people don't know about, so I'm kind of going to go over all these things, give you some hints, and just in general tell you how to use these dinos properly. Now, we are going to start off with probably one of Ark's most useful dinos, the Akatina. Now, the Akatina is a snail. It's actually a really cute snail, in my opinion, but you know, to each their own. And they have two unique special abilities. One, Akatina Paste. They drop it just by sitting there, moving, whatever you want to call it. And two, in their inventory, if they are on Wander, so basically if they're on Wander and you have them encumbered or anything like that, they'll produce Organic Poly and Akatina Paste. Now, a lot of people don't know this. There's my Akatina pile right there. I've been playing with these things all morning. It's enjoyable. Enjoyable. I don't even think that's a word. In order to tame them, the best map you can go on to is probably Aberration, in my opinion. Because see these, like, sticks in the tree and all that stuff? They naturally spawn on it, and all you do is run up and down this thing, and you'll probably find 20, 30, 40, 50 of these guys. I've been, you know, taming them all over the place. They're pretty fun. And let me show you how to do it. If you hit their back... It does almost no torpidity to them. This is a shocking tranquilizer dart, which should instant knock them out. You have to hit them in their slimy part. So aim for the front. And then they go night-night. Now, in order to feed them, you have to feed them a veggie cake. They do have a really bad torpidity timer, so you will need to bring narcotic for them. Because if you don't, they'll just wake up. So you want to make sure you're nearby. Now, on a one times, these guys aren't very easy to tame. You're going to need probably six, seven, eight different veggie cakes in order to feed the just a low level one but they are 100 percent worth it so you got to tame them you see that guy already went up to 36 percent and they can only eat every give or take 25 seconds now they are awesome creatures to have they will go down a little bit but to each their own i like to have them so that's how you tame them now let's talk about how to really maximize them what you do, first and foremost, encumber them. There's two ways to do this. One, if you do not have gotchas, encumber them, just like this. Change their behavior to enable wandering. And while they wander, they're going to naturally stack things. Notice how he can't... Oh, I need to put a little more weight on him because he's able to move. Turd monkey. Let's put this on him. There he goes. Now he's stuck. So you want to make sure they're totally encumbered so he cannot move. I wouldn't use organic poly. I would just use stone or something like that and just load them up. When they are totally encumbered, they cannot move, and they get stuck still. They still, however, produce everything that they should be producing, which is amazing. Now, let me show you what that means. Now, the proper way to set this stuff up is, one, you don't need to necessarily encumber them if you don't want to. I do, because it doesn't it makes no risks or anything like that. But what you'll notice, these guys are inside of a circle, and I've got a gotcha up there. Check this out. In their inventory, they will continue to produce cementing paste. However, they haven't quite yet. So, it takes a little bit of time sometimes. But in their inventory, they will produce cementing paste as well as organic polymer. Now, with that organic polymer and cementing paste, you can do a lot of different things. Let me gamma up here for a second. Now, notice in the gotcha, he's got that Akatina paste that he's picking up. If you have a gotcha that sits over the top of these things, no, you do not need to be in render range. You'll notice he's doing it right now. He will naturally pick up the Akatina paste, just like that. Now, this will basically double the amount of Akatina paste you are able to get at the end of any given day, which is obviously amazing because the gotchas will pick up the stuff they drop, and then they will have the stuff that they collect in their inventories itself. Now, there are lots of different ways to make this work faster and stuff like that, um, just by increasing the number of Akatina. A lot of larger tribes have like give or take call it 100 to 200 akatinas because each one of these guys will produce 100 akatina paste every 30 to 45 minutes or so and they'll produce a little bit of organic polymer as well now they are amazing little creatures the gotcha helps them out all this kind of stuff you don't need a gotcha you just need these guys if you encumber them and sit them on a rock or something like that just walk up every now and then 
and pick the stuff out of their inventory and you'll be good to go. Now, one last super secret-ish hidden trick. You can see this guy's producing the Akatina paste already. Check out this. So, if you are a lower level tribe, still using mass amounts of organic poly, notice how in my inventory, organic polymer lasts for 25 to 30 minutes. The second I throw this stuff into a snail, it triples. So snails can hold organic poly at a rate of three times longer than you can, which is amazing. So if you use all these different tricks in order to get your stuff, you will have an incredible amount of everything because your gotchas are going to collect this, that stuff they drop. They're going to produce some of them, see this right here, naturally on their own. You are going to have a ton of paste. Akatinas are one of the most useful things in the entire game that people just don't use. It's amazing, and I don't know why people don't use them. You need to, because it's like one of the most important things that you can possibly do for yourself. All right. So anyways, hopefully this little video helps you out. And this is like my little tutorial of, well, for lack of a better word, how to use Akatinas properly. Anyways, Teacher's Game 2.